Hey everybody, it's Kfly and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. Today I'm building this kind of stinky dirty werewolf cottage and I was just inspired to build this based on the items that are in the werewolf pack and a lot of them are kind of these falling apart or makeshift type of items and I was like I kind of want to build a house just centered around that and I want to build one that's good for the whole family. So for this house it has two bedrooms and one bathroom so the bedroom has bunk beds in it so you can have kids and the parents living in there and you can probably fit in another bed into the kids room if you move around some of the other furniture. Um, this house is also super cheap. I think it's only 14,000 simoleons with the lot included. So if you looking at this and you're like, oh, I kind of need an extra bed for my family I'm playing in, you can easily add that in. You'll have plenty of money with your starting budget. Or if you just want your Sims to suffer and have someone sleep on the couch, that's absolutely okay too. You can do whatever you want. Um, this house is also on my gallery. It's called Werewolf Shack. Um, and I just had the best time building this. I usually build like kind of cute houses, like nice suburban houses or like cute little tiny homes. So building a house that was just supposed to look as stinky as possible was such a different experience and it was just so much fun. I initially told myself, you know, you know, I'm just going to use the werewolf pack in the base game, make sure that everybody can download this. And then I kind of fell down a slow rabbit hole of, well, I kind of want to use the stinky counters from city living. And then I was doing the bathroom and I was like, well, I kind of want a shower bath, but I don't want to use the craftable tub. So I'm like, oh, I'll just use this one from Strangerville. Like this looks pretty nice. And then I started using sinks for laundry day. And then I just realized I was using so many packs at that point that I might as well kind of do whatever I wanted. But if you're looking at this thinking like, oh gosh darn, like why didn't you just build something that only had the base game in werewolves? That's what I really wanted. Come on, you're killing me. Uh, you should definitely comment that down below and be like, hey, you should do a build with just werewolves in the base game. And I can absolutely do that. But I did struggle a little bit with the floor plan of this, especially figuring out how I want to do the kitchen and then the bedrooms. Uh, you might have seen me earlier trying to get in a dining room table and that was a really cute idea to have a table with a bunch of mismatched chairs. I thought that would be really fun. Um, and I just couldn't make it work. So I kind of gave up on it and I just made sure to put enough seating in the living room. So if you have four Sims living here, they can all sit in the living room and eat their food. And then there's also going to be a whole additional seating area and campfire area outside as well as some stools just on the porch. So your Sims will have plenty of places to sit, just not an organized table but yeah this was just so fun to build um i know i keep saying that but i usually you know i said this before already but i just don't build this type of thing very often it's always fun to do something that's a little outside of my comfort zone and i think the best part was just trying to make this house look super stinky and using like the super grungy carpet and using like grungy floor tiles and the falling apart carpets here i go with the table again uh spoiler it's not gonna work out very well for me just ended up putting a chair in but yeah I wanted this to be something that would be versatile I wanted it to be stinky kind of like in a good way um, I used a bunch of those like craftable items where I like the little end tables um, and then I used the stools later on out on the porch and I had a really fun time just putting like gook on the walls um, if you didn't know the claw scratches from the werewolf pack that has multiple swatches so you can get claw scratches of different shapes you can get like a punch like someone punched the wall you can get these little ones that are the wallpaper just peeling off uh, which i'm putting in right now and they have a couple of different ones and they have such good texture on them too and then i also use some gunk from the strangerville that's just like this nasty slime that's falling down the wall and it, I don't know, it looks kind of like mold or like gook like just unexplained nastiness and I just thought that was so perfect for this like cottage in the woods that has all this junky furniture in it. Um, I'm just very, very entertained by that whole concept. Now, this is the part of the build. This is my favorite part, um, was building this whole campfire area and just putting down all this debug trash. And it was just, it was just so fun to do. Um, I use a lot of stuff from Eco Lifestyle because they have all those trash piles that have like the broken fridges and the broken bathtub. And then I think the car is technically from Strangerville. Um, and that was 
it was just fun to like layer all the items together because I wanted to have a functional outdoor space but also have it kind of suit the werewolf falling apart cottage vibe. Um, use a bunch of those tire chairs and I didn't want to put too much junk inside the house because then I feel like your sims kind of have trouble walking around and it can just look too cluttered but I had this vision of just this massive junk pile outside of the house and trash just kind of sitting around and that's really what I tried to do here and I think this is fun because you could either envision that all your sibs living here are just the most colossal slobs and like they've collected all this trash themselves or maybe you have a sim who's just moving to Moonwood Mill for the first time and they buy this house as like a fixer-upper and they're like oh this house has so much potential for the right sim to move in and maybe they decide that they're gonna fix up this stinky old cottage and like actually make it cute and like clean up all the trash and make it be a nice space to live in with their family so I feel like there's just I don't know I'm already having tons of ideas with my own game with how I'd want to play in this and I'm really curious to hear how you think you'd play in a house like this in your own sims game you should definitely comment down below let me know kind of what you would envision doing in this house um and what you just think of this build overall in general this is the first YouTube video I've made on the new pack um, and this is actually only the second house I've built using it. I built one just for my own game. It's like a little tiny home that I really put zero effort into. Um, unlike this one which I spent well over an hour building. So just let me know what you think if you have any favorite items in the werewolf pack that you like to use. Um, or yeah just anything in general. <laughs> so we're starting to wrap up this build just putting in a couple of Less little details, making sure there's stuff for the kids to do, so they're like toys and a blarfy. Um, sticking in some books so you can easily get the Moonwood Mill lore right at home. Um, putting in an indoor trash can, because otherwise I feel like your house just, eh. It's kind of just nice to have one. And of course just adding in, you know, a couple finishing touches of more trash, because, you know, that's what you always need is just more trash in your build, right? But anyways, as we're wrapping this up, I want to thank everybody for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, you should definitely subscribe and click the thumbs up button because I make Sims Build videos all the time. And I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody.